I'd like to show you how to make a tremolo fired run. It's very easy. A tremolo, first of all, is a rapid alternation of three or more notes. But we're going to alternate four notes. Let's take any chord, any four note chord. I'm going to play do. Well, let's let's do C6. Probably everybody knows that. E G A C. Okay. And I'm going to sh just pretend I have palsy, and I'm going to shake that. And I have my foot on the damper pedal too, so uh, that the tones continue because. one white key each to that chord. I call that the G ninth chord. In order for that to be a G ninth, you have to play a G in your left hand, obviously, but let's do that. Okay, so we're just going to, we're going to treble all that on the right hand, and then after we, after we start that tremolo, get the tremolo going, then we break up the notes of the chord upward. F, A, B, D, or whatever the notes are, F, A, B, D. You see the same thing in the next octave, the same thing in the next octave, and the same thing in the next octave. And then if you have time, you could come down with the same notes. Now I'll do it a little faster. If the root is C, you'd play a C octave as low as possible. As you go up and down the keyboard like that, if, it, if the root's F, you play a, uh, an F octave and so on. This applies to all chords, not just six chords. I could do it with major seventh chords, for example, like that. Extended chords, all kinds of chords, but it, it's real simple. You just get the tremolo going, and then you break it up like that by tucking your thumb under. Coming down, you just kind of roll your little finger over to the next octave and down. Now, if you're brand new to piano playing, you're going to have to take that slow and play it hundreds and probably thousands of times. Now, you may say, thousands of times, that'll take me till I'm 95. No, it won't. No. If you, if you, in fact, I, I had a student once that, that I challenged. He said something like that. It's going to take me till I'm 100 years old. And I said, okay, let's start. And I timed him, and it took him less than an hour to play this run a thousand times. And he was, he was fairly slow at first, and then he gradually sped up and he got it done. So it's very possible, so just hang in there and uh, try it on a lot of different chords because it's, it has a very nice effect. Oh, it's not that you'd use it all the time. Let's say, let's play, say you're playing a song like this, and then suddenly there's a break. into your regular playing. Okay, that's called a tremolo fired run.